Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praise and and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekwa Kadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles, a great millstone who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and respect like to do. So it's going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the video is edifying. Lord, I can get something from this video. Uh, basically, I'm beginning the Hebrews is more encouragement, man, for brothers. Um, I made a, another video on encouragement, but I kind of want to make this video as well on encouragement just to, you know, for myself and for Akim uh, to keep going in this, in this truth, in this fight, you know, because as you look at the news, as you look at everything, you see that, um, you know, things are, are, you know, things are speeding up, you know, even with the days being because the fastest they ever recorded was just a couple of weeks ago, you know. Um, I got that notification. I sent it out to Akim, but um, you know, the I, it's evident that the scripture is real. That the scriptures are real. Okay, and while we know, and it's a faith booster, man, because we look for things like that. You know, we look for things like that. Any evidence, you know what I mean? Which having the spirit itself is evidence, you know. But anything else that adds on top of that is just it's, it's another boost, and we need all the boosts we can in this wicked ass world, man. So without further ado, let's get into. I'm going to get it to Hebrews 10 and 31. I'm going to go down. And again, Lord willing, it's, it's edifying to you brothers and myself. This is a Hebrews 10 and 31. It says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It says, but call to remembrance. The, and it is a fearful thing to fall into the to the, uh, to the hands of, of the most high, man. You know, it says um, 32 is because there's nothing he can't do. And, and no one can deliver you from his hand <laughs> if you want you. You know what I mean? It's 32, it says, but call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, which us being illuminated is us receiving this word. It's us receiving this truth because this truth represents light. Okay. It says he endured and because and, and if this truth represents light, then what is darkness? The world is darkness. Okay. It says you endured a great fight of afflictions, probably while you were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions. And probably while you became companions of them that were so used. It says, uh, well, I'm going to start back at the top. It says, uh, it says, partly while you were made a gazing stock, which on the highways and byways, we look to seem, we seem to, to be a gazing stock to the multitude of people, you know? And people, you know, they mock, they laugh, they, you know, do whatever they is, do whatever, you know, they scoff. They show their incredulity, incredulity you know? But their incredulity is not going to make this thing go away. I mean, all you're going to do is, because people laugh at what they don't understand, you know, they laugh at what they don't understand. So once everything we're saying is is it comes to pass, then we're going to see who's going to laugh. OK, I just read someone uh, on a, a CBN. C, I think if I'm not mistaken, um, you know, it says that majority of the women is going to face, you know, a hunger is going to face a hunger crisis. You know what I mean? I don't know why I just singled out the woman, woman, but, you know, there's a lot more women than men. That might be the reason why, you know, but, you know, the scriptures tell you that no wickedness compares to the wickedness of a woman. OK, like it says, give me or it says, give me any wickedness uh, than the wickedness of, the one, of a woman. You know, so like that's what it says. It says, give me any wickedness, but in the Sirach. Give me any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, man. Okay? They're wicked as fuck. Okay? But guess what? That shit is not going to go unpunished. Okay? So, yeah. Just like I got in Micah 7 last time. 7 to 10. It tells you, man. You know? Then she shall see it. I think it's 7 or 11. Or uh, Micah 7 and 11 or 7 and 10. Right? It says, then she, then she that is my enemy shall see it. This should be trodden down like a mire in the street. So judgment is coming for women, man. Okay. It says, uh, for ye had, uh, I finished this off. It says, partly while ye became companions of them that were so used, for ye had compassion of me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and enduring substance. Yeah, because in heaven we do have a better and enduring substance. The scriptures say, lay your treasures up in heaven. Or rust, no moth can corrupt, nor what thieves uh, can break through and steal. Because what we have and what we're going to get, what we're going to get and what we're going to have in the kingdom is is going to be ours, include our women. Right now, your woman not yours, man. It's a, it's a, it's a. Unless she was a virgin when she got with you, which I'm, 
sure brothers got, you know, brothers have, you know, a woman that was a virgin. They took their virginity, but for the majority of us, right, we're getting used goods, man. Okay, we getting used goods. We getting a shirt that's worn before, some pants. As well. We getting some shoes that a nigga wore with no socks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, just raw foot in the shoes and then passing them down to you. You can, you can still see the, the foot, the dark foot mark in the shoe. You know, that's that's what some of these women are, are liking unto. You know? You know? And then she still will expect you to treat her as if she's valuable and you're not valuable after, you know, a nigga then, well, not just one guy, but all the guys that you've been with. And you know how much guys you've been with didn't march in you. You know, don't let the society fool you and think that you still, you know, you, you still have value. I mean, each person that can get on top of you and whoop the whoop, blase, blase, and do whatever they want with you. I mean, your value goes down. Okay. You're supposed to have one man for your whole life. A man can have multiple women. Okay, we're not equal. None of we do is equal because here it is. You hit a thing called menopause right? where you can't have children. I think around the age 40, if I'm not mistaken, a man can have children up to his dying day. Okay, look at Dr. Sebi, right? Older man had younger women, right? Older man had young women, um, you know, and had kids in his old age, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so it shows you who's valuable and who's not, who's a, who's a liability and who's an asset. OK, it says, for ye had compassion of me and my bonds is to joyfully the sporting of your goods. Yeah, brothers and lost opportunities in this world, brother than brothers than lost women that they might have loved or family that they might have loved, friendships that they might have had. You know what I mean? That, that were good, you know. For this truth, you you know, you. Because at the end of the day, what comes first is your Hawaii, your Hawaii shy. Okay? It says, so some of the things in the world you're going to have to get rid of. Right? And it could be a test for you. You know what I mean? It, it, you know, it could be a test. You know? The Lord will see, do you, you know, do, hey, do you love that woman more than you love me? Do you love your, you know, your, that, do you love that promotion more than you love me? What are you going to choose? You know what I mean? It says, uh, for you had compassion on me and my bonds is to the joy for the spoiling of your goods, spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better sub a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which had a great recompense of reward. Right? Because to have confidence you gotta have faith. Right? Right? And it has a great recompense of reward. We keep going. Okay? It says, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise, that ye might receive the promise. So we don't know, even because the righteous should be scarcely saved in that day. Right? So how much how much the wicked? <laughs> the wicked ain't going to be saved in that day. You know, that's why I say, that's why, you know, when it says ye might receive the promise, that's why I say, you know, when we say, oh, part of the elect and this and that, I say it humbly. I don't say it as if I know I am, because I don't know. Okay, it says, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and who's coming, Yahweh Shai, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So if any man draw back, you know, scriptures tell you that a man that put his hand to the plow looking back is not fit for the kingdom. You can't put your hand in this truth and put work in this truth and turn back to the world, you'll be worse. Okay, it says, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe in the saving of the soul. Okay, so yeah, just a quick passage, man. Low one of the videos at a fine. Low one of brothers got something from this video. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakwa Kadash. I want to say, you brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.